We are traveling through the U.S. to cover the presidential elections. We are here in Atlanta. America today presents itself as a beacon of hope, as the greatest democracy in the world. But it was not always the land of equality and freedom. Till 1960s and 70s, racial segregation was a reality. And then came Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he said, I have a dream. The dream of equality and freedom from the scourge of racial violence and discrimination. Dr. King led a non-violent movement in the late 1950s and 60s to achieve legal equality for African Americans in the United States. In the 12 years or so that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led the American Civil Rights Movement, they say that the African Americans made more progress than they did in the past three centuries. But now it's 2024 and time for U.S. presidential elections. We want to understand what is the place for racism in U.S. politics. We visit some early voting centers in Atlanta to talk to voters. As a black woman within America, I feel that it is my right to do my vote. Um, as we all know, we are living in a country that was built on us, but not for us. Race is not a major issue here, although... At least one of the parties likes to make it one because their support is bigger in that base. The United States of 2024 is far more racially diverse nation than America of the 1950s. But the vitriolic campaigning shows diversity and discrimination can exist at the same time. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Still today, we see big disparities. African Americans, Asian Americans, and Latino Americans vote at lower rates and have lower socioeconomic advancement than the white population. Should I deny it completely? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm being realistic. That there is there, but we made significant progress, especially in USA. We made significant progress. Imagine having an African American president for not once, two terms, and now another lady is running for the highest office in this country. The presidential campaign this year has been one of the most polarized ones. It remains to be seen if the outcome will heal the divisions or open old wounds. Shubhendu Ghosh's report for DT India, Atlanta.